Hey there everybody, I'm Nick from Austin Underground and I'm here with Grizz Folk. You guys want to introduce yourself? How's it going? My name is Adam. And I'm Bill. Alright, first I wanted to ask you guys, um, you just released uh, a new single a while back, right? In My Arms? That's correct. Yeah. yeah. With uh, Jamie and Commons. Jamie and Commons. Uh, yeah. How are you guys liking that new song? You putting out new music? Are we going to be expecting more? Yeah, we've been writing a lot. Um, we're going to play a couple new songs tonight actually. Um, and uh, in my arms, we'll be playing that one tonight. It's uh, it's really fun to play that one live. Without Jamie, unfortunately, yeah, without he's Jamie. not touring with us. So. And Jamie's got an amazing voice. And uh, if you yeah. want to sing a part, actually, we, we, uh, we would. Oh really? Go up there. I yeah. can go up there. Oh. What an honor! <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> Definitely. Oh, so I wanted to ask you guys about your old album, your your full album, Waking Up the Giants. Can you just tell me a little bit about the whole production going behind it? Or? How that came to be? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, we uh, that that album was a product of being on the road a lot. We were touring, you know, for three or four years straight, and um, you know, we made it in hotel rooms, living rooms, bedrooms. You know, it was uh, in, in the van. And, you know, it was. You can kind of hear it in the music. It's a. Uh, you know, it's it's a. Uh, you know, we spent a lot of time on it, and. Um, the new recordings that you know they're going to be. I think we're looking for a, a simpler uh, approach. Um, you know, we're trying to take it take it back to you know just how we write songs. You know, originally we started on the acoustic guitar and go from there. So I think we're evolving a bit from there. I'm really excited to put out some music. Well, awesome. All right, we had a question from a fan earlier who asked me to ask you what kind of direction are you going with with your new music <clears throat> you think it's gonna be more similar or um, we're trying to trying to find that balance uh, you know we've taken some time off to to do to do work um, and to figure out exactly where we go um, but the new stuff is you know it's hard to really describe where it's going but it's definitely Still Grizz folky. It's you know still still riding the Grizz folk train. I'd actually say it sounds more like Grizz folk than the first one. Really? Yeah, that's the thing is that we we made that record on the road, you know, and it wasn't really. I mean, it you know it was who we were, but we've changed, you know, we've grown a lot um, individually and and together. And uh, I think the new music is is you know a, li a little more of a group uh, group sound and. A group sound, but a simpler production, I think, is, is the way I personally see it. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to describe sound. But <laughs> we're we're excited about it nonetheless. Though we can't wait for people to hear these new songs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. I'm excited too, definitely. Uh, you're talking a lot about touring. Do you have any like standout moments that were just like funny or whatever you think, like crazy, strange? From touring, either recently or, uh, you know, I think the well, my, I, you know, we have like I don't know about funny, but you know, I still think back to when we played in Milan, we were on the Bastille tour, and uh, we played uh, Bounty on My Head, or actually it was Cosmic Angel, and it was you know everyone it was like twelve thousand people, I don't know, eighteen thousand, and uh, it was just like you know our hearts just sunk, you know, and people pulled out their phone. And, it was, uh, I can remember that feeling very well. Really. Uh, I'd say on a lighter note, if you ever are towing a trailer oh behind a van, oh. make sure to close the trailer door before you start driving. Otherwise, oh. your suitcase might fall out and get hit by a truck. What? Yeah. <laughs> so the story goes, we, uh, we were, it was a van and trailer. We were pulling a U-Haul with all of our gear in it and all of our luggage and stuff. And we've been on tour for uh, two months at this time. And uh, we loaded up the loaded up the trailer. At, you know, we left the Holiday Inn or yeah. whatever. We loaded up the trailer, and I I was the last person to put my bag in. I didn't shut the trailer because I figured our tour manager would come around and lock it because he had the keys. <clears throat> so I get in the van, we take off, and then he says, "Did anybody shut the trailer?" And I said, "Well, I figured you would have." And he said, "Well, you were the last one in." And we we're both like, "Oh crap!" This is while we're moving, and we were moving. So we pull way. over. We had only gone a block, yeah. and uh, pull over. And my suitcase is the only thing that fell out, and it was it disappeared, but it was yellow. So we found little yellow fragments all over the freeway and like a sock or two down the road, but no suitcase anywhere for miles. So we don't know what happened to it. 
got blown up in just my hands. Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, no. I had my whole life in that thing. Well, that's not good. I did make it to Walmart. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I started this by saying on a lighter note, but it's yeah, not it went really from a lighter, lighter Actually, to a very dark. I'm, I, uh, I'm used to losing things like that, and uh, not purposely, but so mm -hmm. I was kind of. It didn't really affect me. Oh, okay. Yes. So, I have one more question for you. Who do you think, if you had to pick a band and artist, who do you think would be the most inspiration, inspirational to your music or to you? Uh, we love Justin Vernon and everything he does. From Bonnie Bear to the shouting matches to Mark It would be a real treat to be able to work with him. Yeah, Justin, if you're listening, I love you. I want to marry you. All right, well, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, that's going to be it for the interview. Uh, Make sure everyone to follow Austin Underground at ATX Underground on Twitter and Instagram. And do you guys want to plug yourselves? Yeah, we're Grizzfolk, and uh, you can find us online at Grizzfolk. Anywhere Grizzfolk may reside. That's pretty simple. Better do it, everyone. Cool. If you want to find more information on us and other great music happenings going on around here, follow Austin Underground.